haze, clear skies, humidity is down today. When the towers fell on 9 11, Lieutenant Charles William Garcia R. Garcia. There were the victims whose names we read every year Captain Daniel James Brethel. And then there are the victims who read the names Brian Gardner. I know they're there. My friend was there. Thomas A. Gardner. But there's another group the voiceless victims, the children of 9 11 hidden and protected from the media spotlight for good reason. But now they are older and stronger, and they have something they want you to hear. A family portrait of the Rodax of Mantua, New Jersey. But someone is missing. Someone has been missing for five years. John Rodak was on the 104th floor of the South Tower on 9-11. He was 39 years old. Leaving two daughters, Chelsea, now 15, and Devin, now 10, with so much still to say. And so they write letters, five years later, to Daddy. Dear Daddy. Dear Dad, I miss you so much. I wish you were here. I still wish every day that you didn't have to die. A lot has happened over the past five years. I've had so many firsts. My first softball game without you, my sixth grade graduation, my first choir concert, my first high school dance, my first play I was in, my first track meet, over these years, I've played softball and volleyball. I still take acrobat classes. I can do a round off back handspring, back handspring, back handspring round. At night, I still sleep with your pillow. It makes me feel like you are there. I have a lot of firsts to come, and I know you'll be by my side facing them with me. Even though you weren't there physically, I know you were always walking by my side. I miss you calling me Goober and your big hug. When you squeezed me, I felt loved. I really wish you could have been next to me, watching me do all the things that I love to do. Dad, you're not just my father. You're my best friend and my hero. I always wanted to tell you this, that you were the most amazing person in the world. We all looked at you like our hero. But Dad, trust me, you are. All the time, I still wish it was a bad dream. Let's face it, Dad. I wish you were here every day of my life. I miss you. I miss you. A couple years ago, I had this dream where you told me that you were okay. As much as I want you here, I know you're okay. Good night, sleep tight, and don't let the bed bugs bite. Love always, your Chelsea. I love you like a crazy, always and forever, your diva. Letters sent with love. Somehow, you have to believe that Dad heard every word.
The Blanding family of Sailorsburg, Pennsylvania embrace each other tightly. They know just how quickly someone you love can be taken away. Harry Blanding was on the 89th floor of the South Tower on 9-11. He was 38 years old, leaving behind his wife Debbie and three children he barely got to know. Haley is now nine, Jeremy is seven, and Benjamin is six. The children find comfort in their dad's memorial garden, but the strong arms that once held them are no more. And so they write letters to hold on to daddy. Dear daddy. Dear daddy. Dear daddy. Hi, Dad. I can't believe you've been gone for almost five years. I miss you every day. Dear Daddy, I went to my first Yankee game. I was sad because they lost. Dear Daddy, I am in kindergarten. I didn't cry. I miss you. fourth grade now. It's fun, but I'm a little nervous about the honor roll, though. This year, I'm doing hip-hop dancing, which I am excited for. We went to Disney last year, which was really, really fun. I wish you could have been there. Daddy. I'm like in second grade. I miss you. I made you this picture. It's the World Trade Center. That's my dad, that's me, and that's my brother, and that's my mom, and that's my sister. I hope that you are enjoying it up there in heaven and that you are watching us learn and grow. I wish you were still here, but hey, if you're happy, I'm happy. Love, Haley. I miss you. Love I play far ball. Love Jeremy. P.S. I had a dream that you came back for a day and then went back to heaven at night. The flicker of a child's memory stoked with words. And just like that, for the moment, the strong arms are back, and the family is together again. Mazurka in A minor, Chopin's haunting opus to loneliness. It has been the soundtrack to 15-year-old Sidney Sherrill's life ever since that day that terrorists took her mother's life. Catherine Sherrill was on the 105th floor when American Flight 11 hit the North Tower and shook the world. Since then, Sidney's father has done his best to raise her and her two brothers in their Brooklyn brownstone, but sometimes a young girl needs to talk to her mom. And so she does just that in a letter. Dear Mom, it has been five years since I've seen your face or given you a hug or even told you how much I love you. Whenever I remember that day when I lost you forever, it still makes me burst into tears. Although I'm only 15 years old, I know that 9-11 will always be the hardest day of my life, no matter what happens. Thinking of you gives me hope, and every memory makes me smile. You were the most amazing mother in the entire world, and my 10 years getting to know you were my most cherished. I regret every moment that I didn't appreciate you, and it saddens me to know that I can never make it up to you. I hope that someday I can make you as proud to be my mother as I am to be your daughter. And please know that I will love you forever, miss you for always, and that as long as I'm living, my mommy will be.
Love, Sydney. Not even death can break the bond of love. Like that children's story your mom read to you. I will love you forever, miss you for always, and that as long as I'm living, my mommy will be. Or an acclaimed piece of classical music, it lasts forever.